To find News Nation on your TV, go to NewsNationNow.com. Valley native Bobby Pulido won his first Latin Grammy last night. Bobby won for Best Tejano Album, Para Que Baile Mi Pueblo. This was Pulido's fourth Latin Grammy nomination. Pulido beat four other artists in the Best Tejano category. Congratulations, Bobby. The Valley is so proud of you. Yeah, Bobby, come show off that Grammy here uh, in our studio. And we want to also recognize the great contributions women have made to our communities. For this reason, our parent company, Nexstar, is now taking nominations for Remarkable Women. For more information on how you can nominate a remarkable woman, you can go to valleycentral.com. NBC is now taking nominations for Best of the RGV Breakfast Taco Edition. To nominate a business, go to our KVEO Facebook page, search for the Best of the RGV Post, and put your submission in the comments section. The top three comments with the most likes will be featured. If we're the judges on that, we're going to gain some weight. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. No one hit the gym. That's right. That's right. right. It's a good excuse. And it's Friday. That means it's time to tell you about all the weekend events happening across the valley. Lifestyle host and executive producer Danielle Banda in the studio joining us with all those details. Good morning, Danielle. Good morning, you guys. I'm so excited. There are lots, go uh, lots of things to do in the valley and surrounding cities. So if you're in the upper valley, you're going to want to check out the Firestoppers Festival, courtesy of the city of Edinburgh. We're talking food trucks, different vendors free rides for the kiddos, and a lot more. Did I mention also live musical performances from some of your favorite artists? You can even take part in the Fired Up for a Cure fun run with the Chief to help lend support for a special cause. But you're going to have to attend to find out all those details and everything else happening that day. So you can definitely uh, reach out to them for that. And over in Mission, also in the Upper Valley, our friends at the Riverside Club are inviting you and your family to head on out for an incredible experience aboard their boats. This is your chance to check out unique views of our Rio Grande River natural habitat. Plus, you'll learn a lot as you th uh, stroll through the calm waters on the boat. Now, I know it's been a little bit chilly out, but this 55-foot custom boat is called the Riverside Dreamer, and it's a super unique opportunity for you to go bird watching and even just sightseeing for fun. You can go with your friends, you can go in a group alongside other community members, and you can even book a private tour. So, if if that sounds like a perfect outing for you and your family in the outdoors, you can feel free to check out the website on your screen. Lastly, the King Ranch Tree Lighting and Wine Walk is happening in Kingsville this weekend if you want to do a little bit of traveling. And it's yet another one to put on that to-do list this weekend. The festivities are going to kick off tomorrow and you'll be able to enjoy a special signature mixed to beverages, a ranch hand, a weekend country concert, <laughs> plus plenty of local shopping downtown. Uh, and there's even chances for you to win special door prizes. Is. Of course, the holiday season is upon us, so you can take part also in experiencing the magic of the holiday Christmas tree lighting ceremony. It's going to be beautiful. And get this, there's even going to be a special street dance that you can take part in if you want to get dancing with other community members. It's going to look kind of like a flash mob when everyone's out there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Again, lots to do in the valley and if you want to travel just a little bit, but no matter what you choose, I'm sure it's going to be a good time. I was thinking that boat ride, oh, Chris, yes. right? It's going to be a little chilly, but I mean, come on, the experience is bad. unique. Yes, there's what do you be, think? I think there's a grill there, you said? Oh, it's, yes, and you can even bring your beverages and a little bit of food on board. I'm on board. <laughs> I've actually been to that place, and it was yeah. so cool because every, it was in the middle of the day, and everybody was out there having a good time, a lot of winter Texans dancing, wow. and they had live music. It's I fun didn't out there. even know we had this in the valley. This whole on the river experience it, is great. New. We can it's bundle up this and just enjoy the outdoors. Yeah. Oh my hey, goodness. and Cowboys and Christmas, where do I buy my ticket? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of fun. That should be fun. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks so much, Danielle. <laughs> Thank you, Danielle. All right, and you can watch a Sunday night football right here on NBC 23. This week's matchup is between the Kansas City Chiefs and Los Angeles Chargers. Here's the football night in America team with that preview. Maria Taylor, Tony Dungy, and Jason Garrett here, and Week 11 brings us an AFC West matchup on Sunday Night Football. Let's talk about the Chiefs, though. Sitting at 7-2, they have the best 